Hello, my dear students who come back to another video lessons. I hope you all are fine. Today we will learn class 4 English on a topic Robin Hood's Come for the Shooting Match from lesson number 13. In the previous video lessons, we have learned about Robin runs away to the woods. He runs away to the woods and then he did not come for the shooting match. So now in this lesson we will learn about Robin Hood and how he come for the shooting match. So in this lesson again the sheriff have sent his men into the sheer wood forest again and again to catch Robin Hood but then the sheriff men they could never catch him. And then the Nottingham people the Nottingham is a place name. The Nottingham people love Robin Hood. So this made the sheriff still more angry and then he shouted the sheriff shouted at his men that why can't you catch him? Then the men uh, told to the sheriff that we need more men because the Robin Hood is much familiar with the forest so they could not catch him. So they need more men to search Robin Hood in the forest. So when the sheriff men asked the sheriff to send more men, the sheriff shouted, More men, you need more men. And then he says that if the king knew this, and then he stopped for a while and then he thought that the king, and then he thought he told to his men that get ready, everybody, that we will go to London. So King Henry will help us. See, so he thought that the King Henry will help us, and then the sheriff asked his men to get ready to go to the London near the King Henry. So after a few days, the sheriff and his men they reached the London near the King Henry, and then they were taken to the king's court. See, so. The king's men took them to the king's court. So the sheriff said to the King Henry that, My lord, they live as, as an outlaw. Means Robin Hood and his men, they live as an outlaw. So in the Searwood forest. So they have tried to catch him, but then he always gets away. See? So the sheriff told to the lord that, to the King Henry that they could not catch the Robin Hood and his men in the Searwood forest. Whenever they try to catch him, he always used to get away. He always used to run away, so they could not catch him. Then the King's reply, the King Henry replied that we have heard about him, means that they have heard about the Robin Hood. And the King Henry also says that, but then some says that the Robin Hood, he is a good man. So now when the King Henry says that, he heard that the Robin Hood is a good man. Then the sheriff replied that, but then he sued you there and then he robs the rich people. See, Then the king was angry. The King Henry was angry and then he asked the sheriff to see that the laws were obey or not. Then the king also warned to the sheriff that if he could not, if he could not catch or if he could not do that then he would get another sheriff so now the sheriff and his men they wrote home sadly because the king henry did not help them then the sheriff was thinking all the time how to catch robin hood so now at last he decided to have a shooting match because robin hood was good at shooting so he decided to have a shooting match and then he offered a fine prize, a golden arrow to the winner for the shooting match. So now when he decided to have a shooting match, one man said that, do you think that he would get into the match? See, he asked, the man asked to the sheriff that, do you think that the Robin Hood would get into the match? Then the sheriff replied that, yes, I know, I know him. If there is a shooting match, then he will be there. See, then another man says that, but he wouldn't be wearing his green dress. See, so the Robin Hood, when he was in the Sirwood Forest, he used to wear a green dress all the time to look familiar with the forest. And if men stole that, 
He wouldn't be wearing his green dress to come for the shooting match. But then the sheriff told that we can identify him because he has a long yellow hair. Then the news about the shooting match was spread far and wide in the country and then the prize was a golden arrow. So Robin and his men also heard about the match. So the news about the shooting match was spread all over the country, even in the countryside. So Robin Hood and his men also heard about the shooting match. So when they heard about the shooting match, Robin Hood told to his men that I think one of us can win that arrow. See, it was a golden arrow. So Robin Hood think that one of us can win that arrow. Then the other men, the Robin Hood men and outlaw men told that, but then the sheriff has arranged this shooting match just to catch you, see, just to catch Robin Hood. Then Robin Hood, he laughs and says that, do you want everyone to say that Robin Hood was afraid to come, see. So the Robin Hood, he don't want others to think that he was afraid to come for the shooting match. Then. The another companion of the Robin who says that no, but then I don't want to see you hang, see. So if the sheriff and his men caught Robin Hood, then he will the he will be hanged. The Robin Hood will be hanged. So his companions, the Robin Hood's companions, they don't want to see the Robin Hood's hang. Then Robin Hood says that you won't see. I am going to shoot that arrow, see. Then he made a plan. Robin Hood made a plan and then his, he asked his men to wear all clothes and to take their sword. Then they would spread out among the crowd. See? So the Robin Hood and his men decided that they will wear the old clothes and then they will take their sword and then they would spread out among the crowd. Because in that shooting match, the people will be gathering from different different places. So now they have decided and they have made a plan that if anything went wrong in that crowd, then they would come out with their sword. Then, now the match was held just outside the city, so the people started coming. So at last, who came? The sheriff and his, ma and his wife came. Then, when the sheriff had sat down, he asked, he told his men to blow the horn. Then, the sheriff ordered that the men who were the suit came, came forward, see. The sheriff told them the rules that those who are going to suit, who are going to participate at the shooting match to come forward. Then the match started. And then when, when all had come, the sheriff and his men watched carefully that whether the Robin Hood had came or not. Then the first round was over. And then at last ten men were left, see. So the first round was over and then at last, how many men were left to shoot? Ten men were left. Then, most of them were well known. Two came from a nearby town, see. So, two men came from a nearby town and then another big man was from London. So, he wore a blue suit. So, the, the man from the London, he wore a blue suit and then the last one was a stranger in a red suit, see. So the last one was a stranger, he was wearing a red shirt. So he wore a patch over one of his eyes. See. Then the sheriff asked his men to watch the stranger that the size was same but his hair was brown. Robin, Robin had long yellow hair. See. So the sheriff asked his men to watch carefully to the strange to the stranger man because the size was same with the Robin Hood, but then his hair was brown, as Robin Hood's hair was yellow and long. So now the stranger won the match by shooting three arrows in the center of the target sea. So the stranger man won the match by shooting three arrows in, at the center of the target, and then his three arrows looked like one big arrow sea. It was three arrow, but then it looks like one big arrow. Then the stranger took the golden arrow and then walk off. See, so now who won the match? The shooting match. The stranger took the golden arrow and then walk off. See, the stranger man won the shooting match. The stranger man was a Robin Hood, who was wearing a red dress, red suit, and then who was having a brown hair.
even though his hair was yellow but then he changed his hair color to brown to come for the shooting match then later that day after the match strangely dressed men hurried through the sirwood forest then when they met they took off their strange clothes there were robin hood's men in green they talk and laugh about the great shooting match so the robin hood and his men they changed their clothes to go for the shooting match and then the sheriff and his men did not catch them so now after they won the shooting match what happened they went back to the sirwood forest and then they talk and laugh about the great shooting match so one man pulled off his red shirt then he took off the patch from one of his eyes he was just wearing just to show off to the sheriff and his men the red dress and then the patch from one, uh, the patch on his one eyes then he put his hands to his hair and then he says that i won't get this brown color out of my hair very soon then he held up sheriff golden arrow the men's jersey so now the robin hood he was wearing a red suit and then he pulled out this one he pulled off his red dress his he used to wear a green shirt but then when he went for a shooting match he was wearing a red shirt and then he he put in on one of his eyes a patch so when he returned to the sirwood forest he took off the patch and then he says that he put his hands to his hair and then he says that i will not get this brown color hair out of my hair very soon because the sheriff will catch and then he held up sheriff golden arrow the one who the one which he he won as the prize for the shooting match and then the men the robin hood men they cheer up in the forest so on that evening the sheriff had a great feast with his men and they were enjoying the feast so robin hood must have been afraid to come said the sheriff i am glad to know he was afraid see so when they were having a great feast and then when they were enjoying the sheriff and his men they were talking about the robin hood that robin hood must have been afraid to come for the shooting match so they say that i am glad to know that he was afraid see the sheriff told that i am glad to know that he was afraid just then something flies over his head see an arrow flying through the open window they were having a feast great feast with them with his men the sheriff so when they were talking about the robin hood just then something flies over his head and then it was an arrow flying through the open window and then the arrow stuck in the wall on the wall then in that wall what was there a piece of paper was wrapped around it then with trembling hands the sheriff took the paper and then he read thanks for the golden arrow dear sheriff kind and good the stranger dressed in dirty red was your old friend's robin hood see so now the sheriff and his men they thought that the robin hood did not come for the shooting match as he was afraid to come but then the one who won the prize was a robin hood with a dirty red dress he used to wear a green dress and he used to have a long yellow hair but then when he come for the shooting match what did he wear the robin hood he wear a red dress and then with a brown color hair so the sheriff and his men could not found him could not catch him at the shooting match also so now when they were talking about robin hood that the robin hood was scared to come for the shooting match but then and a ladder came through a open window that which it was written by the robin hood that thanks for the golden arrow dear sheriff kind and good the stranger dress in dirty red was your old friend's robin hood so my dear students this is the end of the chapters for today see you in the next video class thank you